Hey guys, we are here with the newly released Zombie VR. It is a wave shooter, but uh, the secret sauce of this one is that you're not bound to one location, you get to move around the map. Uh, and I would be up for some Left 4 Dead style survival uh, wave shooters. I mean, the, the biggest problem with wave shooter in my mind is that you're in that one static position, you can't really move around. So hopefully uh, this game delivers on that. But in addition to that, it seems to have a ton of other game modes already on its first day. Um, so if we look over here at the, the menu, and it is a very early access, this is the V107. Um, I think there's already been one update since he released it earlier today, and that's uh, this one, but we've got Lone Survival, Sniper Defense, Co-op Survival, Versus, which isn't available yet, I don't think, Zomb Bowling, Shooting Practice, Raining Heads, The Floor is Glass Onslaught. So there's, you know, already, you know, some of these are NA, but we've got uh, It's Raining Heads, is a different game uh, mode, Onslaught, and Survival. So the fact that he's already planning you know, all of this out, and it, the the bones for this is already here. That, that gives me a good, uh, good feeling about the game. Hopefully, he will continue to deliver uh, updates and get all of these game modes in here, and uh, this will be a good early access game. That's what I'm hoping, at least. <clears throat> so, uh, let's jump into... This is the first time I'm in the game, so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. I will, I will say that there were uh, some early access issues already with this. Uh, getting into the game, uh, you cannot currently, as of the build that you just saw, start the game from within, uh, from Steam, not being in VR. You have to load up your headset, go into VR, and then you can start the game in the headset. Otherwise, it just shows up on your desktop, starts your headset your uh, HMD, but it doesn't actually load into the HMD. Um, so that was a little bit of an issue getting that going, but that's pretty minor considering. Uh, we have a great big wall of text, literally. Getting some stutter. Uh, okay, so we've got locomotion. And it's not, it's not onward style locomotion. It is bound to my head. Um, I'd like to see it bound to my wrist, um, but maybe that'll change as I start playing the game. Um, this just, you, you lack some versatility. Like if I go pick up one of these guns, maybe I'll figure out if I can pick up a gun. There we go. Like if I wanted to shoot, you know, that blue text over there, I have to look. Oh, and you know, go forward and I mean I guess I can strafe like this, but it just it's easier, it's more natural when you can just turn your wrist. Alright, no more rambling. Let's read. Uh learn to walk. Use your left thumb around the touchpad on the left motion controller. Don't press, simply slide. Practice. Yes, practice. Ta way down is some of the back foot backwards. Yeah. Yeah, for some people. I haven't really had any issues with motion sickness, so I can't really comment on that. This is nowhere near as jarring as, um, I can never remember the game, uh, Spellfighter VR. Uh, it's nowhere near as jarring as that. It's a very smooth uh, motion. I, like I said, I don't get motion sickness very often, but it's not causing any motion sickness in me. So pick up items. I've got that down, I think. Um, so pressing the trigger, really hold the trigger in order to continue to hold it, release the drop. No sound effects. That's interesting. What just happened? I was trying to drop it. I pressed the trackpad down 
and all the bullets flew out and are magically floating in air. Early access, first build. It's excusable. To a point. Alright, guns are picked up. They will stay in your hand so you can use the trigger to fire. Two. Alright, so I grabbed a gun. Can I replace it? I cannot seem to replace it. Let me grab a melee weapon really quick. I don't just drop it, I throw it. No interaction between these guys. Real weird on the physics. <laughs> this is really what we want. Grab another gun. See if this one actually works. No bullets. Nope. Uh, welcome back. So hold down button. I'll oh, press and hold down. There we go. So down on the trackpad and press the trigger. There we go. That's a little weird on this one because it starts moving you backwards. Alright. Glowing orbs on your old reform. Let's go put a sword in there. I don't think that works. Press and hold the down button on the circular touchpad while holding and simply move the weapon over the list. Alright, there you go. Okay, that works. It's more natural without looking up. These green dots holsters too. That's outside of my play area, I can't grab that. Huh, yeah it is. Okay. Looks for me. That's kinda nifty. Break stuff, break. Break the wall. I guess I broke it on accident. Alright. Climbing. Okay. That is my true center. My one and only. My zen. your hand through it. Okay. So, hand through it, grab, pull. the trigger and bring your hand back to your waist. Alright, let's 
let's put this away. Okay, got it. So I am on my true center. This needs work. Okay, so you've got to hold forward on the trackpad to walk forward while you're making the humping gesture. So, this is crouch down. That definitely takes some practice. Nope. I think I'm broken. Oh. Hey guys, what's up? Here's my true center. The true center to my being. There you go. So you don't necessarily have to hold forward on the trackpad, you just have to do it right and not be an idiot. So don't be me. Alright. Alternate handle grabs to reach the top. Give one last good two handed grab at the top to climb over. Okay. once it pulls me inside the wall. Okay. I'm assuming I'm grabbing with the trigger here. It's not like actual climbing or anything. something, hold the trigger. Yeah, so I think I... Okay. 
Okay, it's not to the sides like a humping motion, it's to the center, I think. So that's not very natural for doing the climbing. Yeah, that's what it wants me to do. Okay, don't do the alternating hands thing, do it together at the same time. It's much easier. Right, shooting is easy, point and shoot. You know what say? Hold. Squeeze and hold any of the two buttons on the side grip of the motion controller. This clip's hanging out while holding the side grip button. Bring your other hand close to push the clip in. Both controllers. Yeah, the having the trackpad assigned to shit. Assigned to movement and things like holstering weapons and opening the menu I don't think is a good idea. But that's me personally. Climbing is mm, pretty difficult. Alright, up on both at the same time. There we go. It actually was through the wall. Alright. No need to hold, repeat the close. Difficulty fluffy. Sure. Right. Shooting and reloading. Half over one ready. Remember to get low. Am I supposed to have ammo to shoot them? Because they didn't actually give me any ammo. They're not very pretty at the moment. I have no idea what just happened there. The rag doll needs some work. Grandma, what is wrong with your face? You know what? Post death physics. <laughs> I 
Hush now. Only dreams. Okay, so it gave me weapons with no ammo. Yeah, no, no rounds. That seems to be a problem. Not super easy to use. Right. Let's grab this guy if we can. Yes, we can. So he doesn't have any rounds either. There we go. So you need to, even when you're smacking it in, keep holding the grip button. magically unloads itself. Same with this one. So don't put your weapons away unless you want to waste ammo. It's a little dark. It's hard to aim down these sights. I think he'll do. And the uh, the hand alignment does not match up with my wrist alignment. Like my hand is going straight. My hand is more like this in the real world more like this in the real world and it's cocked at this weird angle so I would like an adjustment so that I could 
make my natural hold be more natural. Like this is how I would naturally shoot. But I have to cock it down at a weird angle like that. But that's that's something that can be worked around, but is a nice to have. Right. So now that I've put that away to climb and I have no more rounds. Can I reload like this? I can reload like that. Alright. <laughs> Let's go not die this time. Wow, that took a lot of shots. Melee seems much more effective. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just get out of this. We'll figure it out as we go. Main game mode. There's a lot of random stuff falling from the sky. Huh. Art. Let's see, weapons. I need weapons. All those spells I can use a skateboard. That's working. I need to find a real weapon. Do I have money? This is not going to end well. Yeah, so now this is just not reloading at all. Flip upgrade. I need a flip upgrade. I need a melee weapon. Nope. 
weapons again. As long as it takes you to reload, these things take a lot of shots. to the face in an eight round clip. that level up costs I guess that's not too bad one round almost 3k Just keep keep coming. Oh, you're pretty good. This is sad because this sounded like a great concept. Let's try the other game modes. Let's see, it's raining heads. Um, just goes melee. What is going on? <laughs> I 
Zero to three. Okay, got one. I have a wall right there. So I can't, like, that whole corner of the area I can't reach. So I miss one head and I'm dead. And it's very, very jarring too. The menu, the menu appears behind me. That makes sense. All right. We don't want that. We want to go back to the main menu. There's Onslaught, Snowtown. We start with 2,000 in cash. Conveniently, there's a weapon here that is worth 2,000. Or snow town. Too small. We start off in the town, but we can go a pretty good ways into the forest.
that was unexpected. Especially since the counter was still counting down. I don't think I can keep this doing this game. The whole, like, all of a sudden no warning, you're floating above you, and then transition out for a second. Up on the trackpad. Up oh, is being pressed in the trackpad. Mm -hmm. It's not really motion sickness, it's more that the transitions are hurting my eyes. I'm no expert, but I don't think trees grow inside houses. This has been a somewhat disappointing first look at Zombie VR. Hopefully uh, this gets much better uh, as it goes through the uh, early access process. Um, I wish this had gone better. So I really liked the, uh, the idea of it. Maybe I've just been spoiled by Onward and Raw Data and the other games that I've been playing lately. Vanishing Realms. But I have to say that this has been... that died on me there. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I have to say I can't recommend this in its current state. Unless you're a big fan of early access games. But as far as a buying a game for fun and enjoyment, this is not there yet, sadly. If, uh, if you found this first look helpful, uh, like, please subscribe, uh, leave a note down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the game and uh, if you want to see me do anything else. Till then, I'll see you guys later.